My name is Christian and I like to kill demons. I like to kill them with a meat cleaver. It's just how I roll. I hope you guys are all doing well for those of you who are regular viewers of mine. If this is your first time watching anything by me ever, I just want to welcome you all to Sleeping Dogs Nightmare North Point. Again, I almost said Undead Nightmare. Basically, be, yeah, basically because Square Enix did the exact same thing that Rockstar did with Red Dead Redemption. Essentially. <laughs> they just replaced zombies with, uh, with undead Asian vampires. That's all they did. Um, Yang Shi, that's how you pronounce them. I couldn't remember the right way to pronounce it and I didn't want to get it wrong. Wrong? Like this turn I just took. Hang on, let me try and fix Ah, sorry. Sorry, but you were completely in the wrong, buddy. My bad. I think that turn was wrong anyway. Oh yeah, there you have it. I took a wrong turn. <laughs> but not as wrong as that one. So yeah, I hope you guys are well. Rescue this civilian. Oh, all right, uh, yeah, if you insist. I haven't wanted to give this meat cleaver a whirl on the Yang Shi, so I'd be more than happy to help. For you. Just gonna wail into them. Oh. Oh. I'm sure he didn't need that arm anyway. It freaks me out how the Yang Shi get up like they're puppets on strings. But um, apparently in the actual mythology, that is how they work. They do bounce up and down and kind of work on their feet. Call yourself a civilian all you want. You're demon possessed, my friend. Oh. <laughs> I'm smoldering. Seriously, that Yang Shi is really hanging in there. Oh, Alright, he's gone. I was gonna say, he was really hanging in there. I should probably... should probably kill that guy. I mean, even even if he is a demon, that's a, that seems a bit harsh to just leave him burn. I hope you guys are good. Um, I'm gonna recommend a movie to you. Well, actually, there's no need to recommend The Hobbit. But uh, I'm gonna recommend a movie called Looper. It's also it's very it's very good. Looper it, it, it's it's different. I don't want to give too much away, but watch it. It's a good movie. Uh, as well as that, for you zombie lovers out there, I'm gonna recommend <laughs> just a casual Sunday drive. But for zombie lovers, um, I saw this movie years ago, but I actually watched it again last night. It's called The Horde, or in French, La Horde. But um, if you like zombie movies, it's 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 definitely one worth checking out. Uh, I, I, I liked it anyway. The zombies are genuinely. They actually are genuinely terrifying in it, I think. My personal opinion, and my humble personal opinion. Confront Johnny. Vinny! Oh, are pretty pissed at you, eh? I had to hear it day and night. They won't rest until they wreck everything you built. Even my house? Because I love that house. Alright, in the back of the head. Thank you! Woo! Hang on, I better shoot that guy while he's down. Here we go. Okay. Can I shoot him? Johnny! Nah, I can't shoot him. I don't think he seems seems a little bit a little bit ethereal. Oh, oh boy, his thugs have guns. His thugs have guns. Ow, ow, ow! Guns hurt. Guns really hurt. Right in the noggin. Right in the cranium. There we go. Uh, so I think pretty much the way the missions are going, I'll probably have to fight. Probably have to kill this guy. I think there was one other thug. I think it was Ponytail. I have to kill him, I'd say. But I don't know if Ponytail has thugs. I think Ponytail himself was really just a glorified thug. Cover. Alright, we can do this. Man, there's guys everywhere. And me without an explosive barrel. One down anyway. That's another one down. Alright, slow motion time. Grab some cover. I think that went well. Alright. Peekaboo! Most extreme game of peekaboo I've ever played. Alright. Slow motion. Come here, you yeah, big old bugger, yeah. <laughs> That's not nice. That is just not a nice way to talk about someone. Death hasn't changed that. Alright, we go. Or did they just get sick of you in hell? What the hell? Nah, it was an ambush. Clever guy. Clever, clever guy. Let me see if I can throw the demon over. Oh, I can't throw him over the railing. That's okay though. I can accept that. Oh, that was shocking, wasn't it? <laughs> that joke was shocking. There we go. I got what I need. 
And in the scroll. There's nothing better than punching a demon in the scroll. Mainly because it's not a common to get to say that often. Ah, oh, don't bite me. I'd rather not be bitten like a vampire. Or not like a vampire, but by a vampire rather. I don't think vampires traditionally get bitten a lot. The only thing I don't like about being bitten in this game is that it's it's so awkward when um, they bite onto you and you have to shake them off, but it actually takes quite a bit of effort to shake them off. That's another one down. And, yeah, there we go. That little face plan for the guy. Oh, oh, we countered him. That's it, that's it. And in the face. I bought a game for the Xbox 360 because misleadingly on the cover it said that Destructoid gave it uh, a 10 out of 10 saying that it was the perfect game. It is called, oh what is it called, Deadly Premonition I think it was called. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to recommend it to you if you've ever wanted to play a terrible game that you hate and that you will just hate every single painful agonizing moment of, play that game. It makes no sense, poor production values and just it's, 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 it's awful. It's absolutely terrible. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, what I'm getting at is I have that game and it might be an interesting one to do a series for. As terrible as it is to play, I have no problem suffering through it if it's for your guys' entertainment. Uh, you know, if it entertains you guys, I'm more than willing to do it. So if you want to see it, if you want to see me go through that game, because uh, it looks like it has potential. It does. It looks like it's meant to be brilliant in spots and then it just kind of falls apart. But if you want to see it, let me know. I might do it at some hey, point. Not soon, but, you know, someday. I'll be there right away. I like that guy's can-do attitude. He always has a smile on his face and a spring in his step and a song in his heart. Oh, I thought that was him for a second. There's my boy. Thank you. Hey, I like this guy. Don't wreck it too much, okay? Okay. Is he? Alright, he's in the car with me. That's going to be mighty awkward if Vincent tries to pop in. Yeah, he's in the car with me. Some sort of glitch or something just happened there, but <laughs> I got myself a buddy. And I expect if I have to fight off some undead demons in a bit, I, ex I fully expect his support in this. Oh, oh that's going to complete control. Uh, I could fight those guys, but there's there's no real point. Not really. Oh, here we go. <laughs> off the road. How do I beep again? There we go. Ghosts of the past. Alright, let's do that then. I imagine Ponytail is involved in this one somewhere. He seems like, the, actually he's the only guy left, so you know, that wasn't exactly a great prediction on my part. It wasn't like I made this amazing, amazing flash into the future. Oh, which reminds me of a joke I heard the other day. I went to see a sidekick, but I accidentally bumped into our table and broke a crystal ball. Ended up costing me a fortune. <laughs> Get it? It's wordplay. It's, uh, not everyone's taste. I like wordplay though. Generally, if someone tells me a joke that I don't find funny, I just kind of fake laugh. I'm like, I get it, because it's funny. Nah, it never really goes on well with them, though. Whoa! Here we go. Alright, just gonna go up these steps. Go a little off, off the beaten track, if you will. There we go. It's more fun this way. Ah, we seem to have a bunch of people huddling outside. I am so sorry, I thought you were all demons. My bad, my bad. My, oh, was that me? Now that is an entrance, people. Sorry about all the pain and. Ponytail took the club, man. He's holding people hostage. It's like he's starting a whole new protection racket or something. In the underworld, the rumor is that it was Ponytail who killed Smiley Cat and turned him into cat food. Maybe he can help you if you talk him into it. Maybe. Frankly, I like his entrepreneur entrepreneurial spirit. He doesn't let being dead stop him from from seeing a good a good business opportunity and reaching for it. He has one hostage. Oh dear. Ah, oh, two hostages. Alright, fine, fine. Still though, there's <laughs> two hostages, but everyone else is just dancing away just fine. They, they seem oblivious to it. Why the hell should I worry about it too much? Ow. Appreciate it if you didn't slap me. Don't bite me. Ah, that does it. Let's settle this on the dance floor, bitches. Let's settle this on the dance floor. You, out of my way. Sorry. It was just, you're in my way, I needed to clear the space. <laughs> Don't take it personally. Oh, I can't break it. Oh yeah, I forget to dance for a shadows here when you when you land on it. Come with me, my friend. Uh, look, look at this gang, she just messing with the ladies. <laughs> he 
He's not interested in win at all. He's just he's just looking to get a bit of action. That dog. Oh sorry. Backhanded that woman for no reason whatsoever. And there we go. Alright, ponytail, come on, let's have a chat. You and me. Mano a mano, man to man. Oh! Into the bear. <laughs> I like this. Although I am kind of repeatedly kicking him in the crotch, and that's just. That's just not gentlemanly. It's just not cricket. What if I can tackle Gangshu? Nope! No, I can't. But I will absolutely pummel him. Alrighty then. And in the scroll. So I recorded a bit of um, Silent Hill earlier, and I was kind of disappointed with how it went because I wasn't very prepared before I did it. Uh, so there was a lot of aimless wandering. Uh, I expected, I had intended for that video to be more, more eventful. But uh, if you guys could still just show some support, I'd really appreciate it. I really would. Also, I don't know if I said it, but sit back, relax, throw your feet up and enjoy. Also, you're a handsome bastard. Those are my two trademark lines. If I don't say them, then I'm nothing. Dramatic entry. Now, serve me up a martini. Shaken like my nerves. Not stirred like my spirit. Oh! Don't you point at me! How dare you! Into the urinal with you! I do not take kindly to being pointed at. At all. Ever. Oh! oh I felt that one! Alright, let's see what I can throw you into. Ow! I see, I see. In you go. It's just, it's not a good way to go if you're ever thrown into a bathroom or a urinal or something. No one wants to go that way. <laughs> go to the VIP. Why did I beat these guys up? <laughs> it looked like they were just having a bit of fun, you know. It's probably some guy's bachelor party or a stag party or something like that. And what do I do? Just beat the ever-loving crap out of him. I don't even have any reason to do that. I don't even know if they work for Ponytail. I honestly don't. I may have just gone in there. Just looking to go to the toilet and uh, overreacted a little bit. Where's ponytail? What kind of name is that? It's the kind of name you give a guy who has a ponytail. You again? This never ends. Ah, I think he's happy to see me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I just punched my way through him. But you know what? I think that makes me the more intimidating presence because if he has to, if he has to vanish. Because he's too afraid for me to hurt him. What does that say about him, huh? Oh, what does it say about me? I'm an, in I'm an intimidating guy. I'm an intimidating presence. Ah, I just gotta build up my face meter here a bit. That's it. Oh, I thought that would do it. Apparently not. Oh, here we go. Now I mean business. I'm in on it. Just gotta kill the Yao guy. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly. I know I have a few, um, a few subscribers who speak, you know, things like, who speak, uh, you know, Chinese, Cantonese, Korean, Japanese, and all that. So I apologize if I ever mispronounce any any name. Basically, no matter where you're from, if I ever mispronounce a word in your native tongue, I am sorry. I apologize. I'm not exactly multilingual. Bilingual. There we go. Oh, oh he jumped me. He quite literally jumped me. Ah, I just have to get him away from me. As it turns out I don't like being hit by demons. It's something I just discovered about myself. Alright, those Yao guys were just not paying attention at all. I'm not going to shatter the fish tank because, uh... You know, there, enough people have died in this city. Enough people have suffered. There's no reason. There's no need for the fish to suffer too. The poor fishies. Alright, uh, can I just... There we go. <laughs> I absolutely love just kicking them when they're down. Alright, he's just boingy boingy. Alright, into the speaker with you. Oh, I need you to feel the music. Feel the music. There we go. Okay. Oh, here you go. I just kind of sucker punched him. Alright, you first. Now, Ponytail, if we can have a little manly chat, that'd be fantastic. What are you gonna do? Kill me? No, I'm gonna cut you up and feed you to the fish. You'll be stuck here, Ponytail. Just another powerless, hungry ghost. You shit, Chen. Or you tell me how to beat Smiley Cat. Then I'll send you back to where you belong. 
Even in death, you break balls. Burn him. Burn the body. What body? You ground him up for cat food. <laughs> Most of him. Uncle Poe had me save Wu's pinky finger to guarantee he'd get no rest in the afterlife. Where is it now? It's in a red vase at the temple in North Point, where we used to swear in new members. Burn it, and you'll be able to send him back. I'll see you in hell, Wei Shen! <laughs> <laughs>